Hey everyone and welcome back to Woo Woo Wednesday where I share my intuitive insight and weekly wisdom with you through the use of oracle cards. I've got some really cool, exciting things to show you guys today, so stick around for this video because I feel like we all need a collective reset, so today I'm gonna bring you a message of inspiration and inner peace. I wanna know, aside from all the craziness going on, how are you doing internally, emotionally? Like, how are you, Take a moment to tune in to see what's going on and then we'll take a moment to do a little bit of breathing at the end of this video because we all know that we need a little bit of relaxation. And let me tell you, Chris and I must have known this month for um, the month of November inside the Elevated Life Club that relaxation was going to be needed because at the beginning of the year when we came up with all the topics that we teach in all the live master classes, November happened to be relaxation and it couldn't be more needed right now because we all know that stress is such a destructive process. And if we don't take control of our own mental and emotional health and reduce our stress, then we're gonna end up seeing it manifest in physical forms. So I'm gonna teach you guys a little bit uh, about how to create inner calmness today with the use of your breath. You have the ability to control your stress levels with something as simple as your breathing. You don't need a magic pill. You don't need a fancy guru or a doctor. You just need to know how to create conscious awareness around your breathing. So we'll do a little bit of that later. And before we get to that, I have a very exciting announcement. So let me know if you're here. Are you watching live? Where are you watching from? Hey, Tony. Hey, Daphne. Oh my gosh. Hey, hey, hey guys. Oh my gosh. It's so good. Hello from Spain. Ah, I love it. Thank you so much, by the way, for always posting videos um, with pulling cards from the Shine from the Inside Oracle. It means the world to me. You guys are so amazing. So thank you so much for tuning in live. So the exciting announcement slash announcements. I've got a couple things for you. The new Shine from the Inside Oracle deck has arrived in my hands with, do you think it's the rainbow or the purple edges? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Um, hello from Wake Forest, North Carolina. Hello, Becca, it's good to see you. Um, okay, so what do you guys think? Do you think it's the rainbow or the purple? I'm gonna show you guys, you ready for this? Also, if you notice, the new deck is a little bit more vibrant than the last one. The colors on the front and the back pop like very nicely. All right, you guys ready for the big reveal? By the way, I was legit, let's like be honest, I was super nervous to receive this because I wasn't sure how it was gonna look, but I can tell you I'm very happy about it. Ah, we did the rainbow. So the new deck has these gorgeous rainbow iridescent edges. So exciting. We also did a little like, um, you know, secret collection of the purple. So I'll get a small amount of the purple that we'll do for a limited edition. Um, but these babies are here. I'm so excited. Now, when I say here, they are in my hand so I can see like, oh my gosh, are they good? They are still being delivered, so they're not quite available yet. I know you guys have been dying to get your hands on them, but very soon. They have just been shipped this week and we should expect them in the next month or so. So I'm very exciting. Um, purple. Yeah, purple is coming um, with the full shipment. I just had a few sent to my house because I wanted, I couldn't, I had to see it. Um, so this is my sample set of the deck and we have, I have a few in my possession so I'm, I might be doing something special with them but they aren't available to purchase just yet unless you come directly to me and you know, we work a little magic together. So today will be the first day that I do the reading from the new Shine From The Inside Oracle with the rainbow edges. I'm super excited to do that. And right before we dive into that, I want to show you one last little announcement. We're so excited. You know, we are one week away from the goddess retreat in Broken Bow and so many crazy things are like happening all at once. The retreat is here. The new deck is here. And the new merch is here. So we got new merch. This is charged by tea and crystals. So for the last two years, Chris and I have been talking about creating um, a lifestyle and clothing company called the, uh, sorry, that's, we already have the elevated life. I was looking at the sticker. 
The elevated life. We've been thinking about creating a clothing company called High Class Hippie Clothing, and it's been in our minds and the like in our dream journals, but we just have not had the time and the space to create a brand new business. And we finally created a little bit of extra time, and we teamed up with the amazing Emmy DIY over on Instagram to help us create these beautiful new stickers and designs for the Elevated Life and for the Shine Tribe Sisterhood. This is one of my favorites. It says, you are meant to shine. Okay, I'll show you guys um, one more and then we'll dive into the reading. Okay, just kidding, two more because they're so good. All right. And are you guys excited? I have been slowly but surely testing out all the links and everything on High Class 50 Co. And it looks like we're almost good to go. I've been um, having a few people test it and the products are turning out wonderful. The quality, we've got t-shirts, sweatshirts, tote bags, like all the things. And it'll continue to expand as we pour our love and energy into it. But this is where we are starting now. So this is Trust the Magic with a crystal ball. Super, super super cute and then the other one which I'm super in love with is proud member of the shine tribe sisterhood this is my private Facebook community that I created almost five years ago because I felt alone in my spiritual awakening journey and learning to love myself was not an easy process so I wanted to find other like-minded women and souls who we're going to the same experience I was and it turns out we are not alone. There's a huge community out there that wants to support you, that understands where you're at and it's so nice to be able to do it with other people so that even though it's an inward journey, whoop, cards are flying, it doesn't have to, it doesn't have, it doesn't mean that you have to do it alone. Okay, two cards just fell out. Like this deck clearly is magic and ready to use. Like it's, it's like take me out into the world. All right, there's the next card. And you know what, we usually do three. And guys, can you believe this? It's been a whole month since I've done Woo Woo Wednesday. October is like my power month because you guys know it's my birthday. So we spent over a week in Colorado, which was amazing to celebrate our 10 year wedding anniversary. And then the next week we were, um, it was my actual birthday, so anniversary, then my birthday, and then the next week I went uh, I went out of town to visit one of my best friends who has a very close birthday to mine, so we always celebrate together. And um, yeah, it's just been crazy over here. So finally getting back down to earth right before we're ready to leave for the next retreat. So it has been a whirlwind. If you guys have seen, I've also posted that my dad is going through stage four cancer and some surgery and some crazy family stuff. So that has been a lot Lot of um, you know like a lot of time and attention has been spent to that so I hope that you know by me sharing this is just letting you know that no matter what you've got going on in your life if you're starting new businesses if you're running ten of them um, or if you're if you've been laid off and you're just in a bad mood like you have the ability to change how you respond to your situation and you also have the ability to clear out your schedule and say no and stop over committing yourself and stop worrying you know if you're stressed out and you don't know how to relax you know the only way to connect to your intuition is to learn to relax and if you struggle with relaxing i highly recommend you come hang out with us inside the elevated life club this month because this month's masterclass is all about relaxing so Let's dive in guys, take a deep breath. Let's get ourselves relaxed in the moment and ready to receive this beautiful divine message. Breathing in all the way down into your belly. Let your whole body fill up with beautiful white glowing light. And then exhale, just let it out, release, let go of some of the stress you've been carrying and open your heart for this message to come through. All right, uh, it's so good to see you, Leanne. Oh, let me catch up with your comments. Um, I love the new edges. Iridescent is beautiful. Can't wait to order. Oh my gosh, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Loving the pastel hair. Thank you so much. Um, Tony, thank you. I appreciate that. All right, your first card for today is You Are Pure Magic. I love this card so much because it's a reminder that you have the ability to create a magical life for yourself by choosing your attitudes. And when you change your attitude it allows you to look at things from a different perspective and from that perspective we take different action and when we're stressed out we take 
stressed out, crazy, frantic action. And it might not always be aligned with what it is that we want for ourselves. So when I see this card come up, especially during this time, it's a reminder that you are powerful, that you're amazing, that you're beautiful, that you are divine, and that you don't need anything outside of yourself to complete you, that you're a part of this whole and this collective. And this is why today I wore, I wore my kindness this free t-shirt, because I just want to remind all of you guys that we are one we are a unit and without each other we can't make this happen you know i can't create i can't make all of this without people in the world to be able to bring all of those elements together and if you think about it neither can you there's nothing in your life that you're doing solely 100 percent independent like if you are even using a phone that's someone else's ideas and creations and um, their energy express so you have to remember that we're all contributing our energy and it matters what type and what level and what vibration we're putting it out at and this is saying like step back into your magical self start trusting the trust the magic where's the trust the magic sticker trust the magic Magic! Oh my gosh. Allow yourself to, you know, find your inner peace and to find your strengths and really take a moment to figure out who you are. That's the first question that you begin to ask yourself when you're going through a spiritual awakening. Who am I? What am I here for and how can I contribute? Um, you are such a beautiful soul. Back at you, babe. Oh my gosh, I love you so much. Um, okay, we, yes, we can literally do anything we put our minds to. One of my favorite cards. Oh my gosh, Brooke says, Suhei is here with me. Hi, Suhei. Hi, Brooke. Oh my gosh, this is so amazing. You guys are, you guys are awesome. I love having this community. I'm just so grateful and blessed to have so many su like supportive soul sisters in the, in the group. And I just thank you from the bottom of my heart, especially, you know, like I shared, ups and downs in my life right now. I'm celebrating all this success in, in business, but in my personal life with my family, it's like super sad. So in Libra fashion, it's like both, you know? And so during those times, you know, it's really important to have a community that you can fall back on when you're not in just like go mode and power mode and like everything's working out because like shit happens to all of us. And sometimes we're the leaders and we're pushing forward and we're doing all of those things for everybody around us. And then sometimes we need that help and that support. So it's really important for you to start looking around your relationships and ask like, who is that person in my life? Or who are those people? Or who's that group of people that I can connect with that will help to support me whenever I'm feeling down and not always in go mode. All right, next card. Here we go. It, your reality is a reflection of your inner world. This is, I mean, look, we've got like holding the moon, holding the crystal ball. We've got a situation here, y'all. This is a reminder that the what you're thinking, what you're feeling, what's going on on the inside is going to be a direct reflection of what you experience on the outside. So if you're seeing all this chaos and stress and all of this, guys, I have a story for you. One of my clients reached out yesterday and she was like, how, how are you dealing with all the chaos and anxiety? Oh, I bet you did some like spiritual sacred ritual shit and you're feeling fine. <laughs> I just laughed so hard and I thought, yeah, I'm not tuning into the bullshit, like to the crazy, like I am finding my own inner peace and you know what? It's working out pretty well. So this is saying if you want to create peace and, and relaxation in your life, then it's up to you to choose what you're focusing on. So if you're creating stress and anxiety internally, then you're going to be a magnet to experience all of the stress and anxiety outside of yourself. And I'm not saying that it's not there because hello, it's always there, but it's like what we tune into is what we intend to attract because it's both all of it's there you've got peace and inner calm mixed with crazy and anxiety and it's just a choice for you to you know it, it takes practice I'm not saying it's an easy choice like it takes practice time and time again and that's why we're here every day every moment is an, your ability to practice so if you don't like what you see if you don't like what you're experiencing if you don't like what job you're in or what relationship you're in you have the power to choose and that is your birthright right and you have forgotten that so this is a reminder that you you can create a new reality if you start to choose from a new perspective you know the word miracle means a shift in perception so it's not like you know the waters have to part it's just a matter for you to decide if you're gonna look at it with the glass half empty or half full all right the last card for this week um, Leanne says I pulled this card this morning oh my gosh in alignment well, here we go. This is definitely needed right now. Commit to self-care rituals more than ever now. This year has been a call for us to take a moment to tune in and ask ourselves, what the fuck do we need? 
we have forgotten that we are responsible for our life. And so many times if we get trapped in a corporate job or if we're in a relationship where someone else is the provider of some sort in any capacity, we forget that we have the ability to contribute and to take responsibility for our life. And you know, this card coming up just reminds me that we all need to take a break. You know, that's why I, that's why I decided despite what's going on and if it would even work, I thought, you know what? I bet women are feeling like I'm feeling right now and we need a retreat. And so next week on 11.11, we will be <laughs> in Broken Bow in this most beautiful cabin committing to our self-care rituals. And I create these retreats and I go live on these videos and I do all the work that I do to remind you that you have the power to choose and you have the power to take care of yourself. No one is coming to save you. Not in this video, not from on high, you are here to take care of you. And it starts with your self-care rituals. It's called self-care because your mama ain't gonna do it for you. You have to do it for you. And if you don't, you're going to burn out. You're going to lose your energy, your drive. You're gonna, you're gonna <laughs> come from a place of resentment and burnout. So it's important for you to take time to slow down, to give yourself what you need, heart and soul, mind, body, spirit, all the things. Like what do you need right now? Take a moment to tune into that. And as I shared earlier, we can do a couple breathing practices together so that we can just slow down, calm our energy, come back to the present moment. And if you guys have any questions for me, it's been a while, so things have been changing. Lots of has been going on, I'm sure, in your life. So let me know what, what's going on in your world. Are there any questions that you have for me? How can I support you at this time? All right, you guys ready for some breathing? You know, that is one of the fastest ways to relax yourself. So if you can control your breathing, you can control those internal states. And from that place, that's when you become a manifesting freaking magnet. You start to consciously choose how you wanna feel, what you wanna experience. And you'll find that, you know, trust the magic, you'll find that it begins to shift and change. I went from a very angry, upset, like self-hating person to someone who is kind and loving, compassionate, um, and thoughtful for other people which I was not before but I chose not to be out of pain and fear and doubt and unworthiness but now I realize with self-love and self-care that I actually am worthy of contributing and, and loving and, and receiving love and so I, I hope that this reminds you that you are too that you are here for a reason that you have love to give and creativity to express but we have to take care of ourselves and with commit to self-care rituals I want to know what's that one self-care ritual that you need most right now drop it in the comments below and let me know how you're gonna take care of yourself this week um, yes, let's breathe together. Let's do it. All right, everybody take a nice long deep breath in for a few breaths just Breathing in through your nose and I want you to exhale and just sigh it out out your mouth And we'll do that one more time breathing in And then exhale sigh it out your mouth and allow your shoulders to relax. With every exhale, allow your muscles to completely relax. And with every inhale, breathe in this beautiful glowing light and feel your body expanding. Last one where we'll breathe out of our mouth, breathing in. And then exhale, sigh it out, let all your muscles melt down. And then from here forward, continue just breathing in through your nose and out through your nose. Close down your mouth, and if it's safe for you, close down your eyes and take a moment to place your awareness on your breathing, noticing the inhalations, bringing in the beautiful, white, golden, glowing light, allowing it to fill up your entire body, and with every exhale, notice if there's any tension that you're holding onto in your body. Allow that area to melt with every exhale. Breathing in that beautiful, white, glowing light through your nose. Let it move into the spaces where you feel tightness or tension. You have the ability to control your pain and your stress levels with conscious breathing. By choosing to breathe in this beautiful healing light, direct it into the areas in your body where you feel pain or tension and allow that light to melt away as you exhale. And imagine as you exhale, the energy draining down your body, down your legs and your feet back into the earth. Notice if there's any more places where you're holding tension. And on your next inhale, I want you to imagine this beautiful glowing light showering you from the top of your head all the way to the tips of your toes. Noticing every muscle and fiber relaxing, letting go, 
turning loose, going limp. Noticing how good you feel just by taking these few nice long deep breaths in and taking a moment to slow down and tune in. Take a moment to ask yourself if there's anything that you need right now to feel loved, to feel safe, to feel supported, or to feel peace. Take a moment to breathe, clearing space and relaxing your mind and body. When your mind and body are relaxed, you can receive intuitive information. All you have to do is get quiet and go within. So I'm gonna take a moment to allow you to hear, to create that space to hear what you need from your soul. What does your soul need most now? To find peace, to find support, strength. What do you need to release your stress and anxiety? What do you need to feel loved? Ask yourself those questions that resonate. If you feel like something is missing, take a moment to tune in and see what you need most now. Thank your soul for giving yourself the love and the support, the peace and serenity that you need during this time. Know that you have this safe, sacred space to return to at any time where you need to refill your cup, where you need to recharge or look for answers and clarity. Always look within first to find guidance and love. Now I want you to take a moment to imagine a mirror in front of you. Take a look at yourself and see if there's anything that you see that you intuitively need to update or adjust. Sometimes when we look in the mirror, we can see that maybe we need a little bit more sleep a little bit more energy. Maybe we need to eat cleaner or move our body more. This isn't a space to judge yourself, but to get clear and honest. So take a moment to see if there's anything that you need. Take a mental note and promise yourself that you'll do better. And thank yourself for all the hard work that you're also doing. There's always something to improve and something to celebrate. So take a moment to celebrate the strength and the courage or anything else that makes you feel good at this time. Celebrate yourself. Tell yourself, I'm doing a good job. I'm doing my best. I matter and I am lovable. Now, whenever you've given yourself the space that you need to fill your cup, to remind yourself that you are amazing, and to see if there's any darkness that needs a light shined on it. Take that wisdom and that love with you now. And in a moment, I'm gonna count from one up to three, and as I do, you'll become fully aware, coming back into this moment, noticing how good you feel from the top of your head to the tips of your toes, your body is relaxing, number one. Feeling good in every way, feeling lighter, freer, and knowing that you can find inner peace within, two. Coming back to full awareness, take a nice, long, deep breath in through your nose. Exhale, sigh it out. Number three, open your eyes and notice how good you feel. Woo, woo, woo. I absolutely love taking time to tune in to see what it is we need within our soul. Did you hear any messages that you needed? Was there um, a self-care ritual that you were reminded of? Was there anything that came 
forward that you're going to commit to today. Leave it in the comments below. Let me know what self-care ritual you are committing. So much passion and willingness to give myself the break and support, finally, woohoo! Yeah, how did you guys feel during that meditation? All right, any questions, thoughts, ideas, um, anything you need support on, please let me know. I am super excited to announce the highclasshippieco.com website is live and ready for you guys to check it out. So I'd love your thoughts, I'd love your feedback. If you wanna pick up some of this merch, feel free to check it out, highclasshippieco.com or shoot me a DM and I'll send you the link. So remember, that these are not available yet, but I appreciate all of your love, your support, your thoughts, your feedback. You know, we've made a few updates and tweaks to the deck like this beautiful rainbow edge. So I appreciate all of you guys and the support that you have shown during the process of this creation and getting it out into the world and spreading the sparkle magic. You, there are now 2,000 decks in the world and I have just reordered 5,000 of these beautiful babies. So if you're a wholesaler or if you have a favorite boutique that you know that these would be a perfect fit, please let me know. I would love to get their information and get this beautiful sparkle magic into the world. All right, guys. Um, hey, Julia, so good to see you. I missed you too. I know, I can't believe there was no Woo Woo Wednesday in the month of October. So I, um, I had to get on today. I'm finally home, I'm not traveling, and I had all the fun things to show you guys. Actually, I'll show you one more. So since we are doing uh, relaxation in the Elevated Life, I'm gonna show you guys these Elevated Life stickers that we've got going on. So last, um, in September, Chris and I, we did a yoga certification and that is super exciting because we teach yoga and meditation inside the Elevated Life Club. So it was really fun to just expand our awareness to you know learn from new teachers. And one of the philosophies that we have inside the Elevated Life Club is called the seven or above rule. And we actually made these super fun stickers that say, they say seven, 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 and then around here it says seven or above club. So seven or above club. Now what that means, if you're not familiar with the Elevated Life or the philosophy behind it, you know we've started the podcast this year where we share all of our insights from personal development to business growth and spiritual growth. But what we were founded on, the philosophy philosophy of the Elevated Life is called the Seven or Above Club because we rate everything on a scale of one to 10. 10 being amazing and one being like pff, suck fest. And if it's not a seven or above, we say no. We delegate it, delete it, or find a way, a new way to approach it with a perspective that makes it more of a seven or above if it's something that you have to do like laundry. Um, Chris doesn't mind doing the laundry, but you know, I make it a seven or above by folding all the clothes and hanging them up. So we created this fun seven or above sticker to remind everyone that you have a choice. Just like we talked about earlier that you are pure magic, that your inner world is a reflection of your outer world, that you have the ability to turn that sparkle magic on. You know what, I sent, I sent my virtual assistant a birthday gift and she was like, hey, I just got this happy box and I don't, it doesn't have a name from who, like who it's from, but it says sparkle magic on it and I don't know anyone else that uses that phrase. So I'm thinking it's from you. So you have the ability to turn on that sparkle magic and what I mean by that is your inner essence, your authenticity, like the you-ness that makes you you. That's why you're here. When you turn that on, you tap into it and you're like, I fucking love myself. Man, like I actually have some cool shit to contribute. I have some talent, some love, some creativity and if you're over there saying like, I don't have any of that, it's just because you haven't found it or taken the time to explore. And the seven or above philosophy helps us to remind ourselves that we do have the choice that we don't have to do things that we don't want to do like that's the beautiful power of choice and there's so many options and availabilities but it's our limited mindset that keeps us small or keeps us in a box or makes it feel like there aren't options all right anything else you guys um yes uh you guys are so nice. Thank you guys so much. I love each and every one of you. It was so fun to join you guys live for Woo Woo Wednesday this week. It has been a whole month. I missed you guys so much, but we are back in it. And well, I guess on 11-11 next week, we won't be, I won't be going live because we'll be at the goddess retreat, but I want to let you guys know that we have a very kick-ass goddess giveaway next week. Wednesday, 11, 11. So be sure to check out my Instagram. We're doing a giveaway with all of the retreat sponsors. So you have the chance to win literally everything that's gonna be included in the goddess goodie bag. And let me tell you, it is 
amazing. It is everything that you need from sacred self-care ritual tools to beautiful jewelry. I mean, the, the, the gifts and the sponsors that contributed were absolutely amazing and I'm so grateful. Shout out to each and every one of you if you are a Shine Tribe Retreat sponsor. Whoop whoop. I can't wait to show you guys um, some behind the scenes next week at the Goddess Retreat. It's going to be life changing and hopefully you guys can make it to the next retreat in 2021. There will be many more so I am super excited to join you guys in person, live, all the things. Thank you guys so much for your support. If you are looking for more resources on the woo woo world, you're here on woo woo Wednesday. This week's uh, podcast for the elevated life is called new to the woo and we share our story of our spiritual journey and awakening and all the things that we were shown and the different crystals and modules and different things that helped us to un like that unfolded along our path of enlightenment so if you're new to the woo and you're looking for more tools or you're like i'm waking up and i don't know what the heck is happening this episode is for you so be sure to go check it out on your favorite podcast platform or check out my blog at brittanycarmichael.com and i will see you guys guys soon. I hope you guys find your inner peace, commit to your self-care rituals. Worry won't change it, y'all. <laughs> All right. Love you. Bye.